tell me about the, uh, what is it called again? Up with up people? With people. Yeah. yeah. You want me to just tell you about it? Yeah. Um, it's just an organization kind of like people to people, except the only difference is that, is that they perform while helping communities instead of just helping communities. And uh, what will you be doing with them? I will be touring with them. I don't know. What, I don't get a final like printed schedule until January of all the places I'll be going to. But basically, I leave July first to go to Colorado, and I meet with all of the other people that have been chosen. And then I get to learn the show, and then we start touring all around the world. Uh, do you know what sort of things you'll be performing? No, like, the only, like, general overview I have are, like, the videos that they have on their website and then on YouTube. They have, like, videos of, like, their shows. That's all that I've seen so far. So what sort of things have they done in the past? Um, in the past, well, like, they do, like, everything from, like, Macy's Day Parade to, like, the Olympics. Like, they do all sorts of different performances. And usually they, like, go to a, um, specific community, like, last year, um, when Haiti was undergoing all of their like distress, they went there and built like reforms and stuff like that, and like helped with their community. And then at the end of the week, they like put on a big show. Is basically what they do. And how did you uh, find out about this or get chosen? Or um, my whatever? dad actually had a person like that he um, had in his theater shows like back in the day, and eventually um, he went on to do up with people and that's how my dad heard about it and he like we've like always talked about it and it wasn't until this year that I was like hey like that might be something I want to do so yeah. And what was the process like for selection? Um well first you just have to apply online it's like it's standard like $20 fee and then you just like fill in like what you've done like community service wise like performance wise and then they um I actually like knew a guy because my dad is also trying to like get up with people to come into town and um, do performances with Arts in Motion. So this guy named Brad Good like was just like emailing me before that and was like, oh like I'm excited to like have an interview with you. So then I had an interview and then after the interview um, they're like we'll let you know in a few weeks like how you placed or like whether you're good in and then a few weeks later I get an email saying like congratulations and I get a phone call. That was like the general process. And when did you first get interested in performing in general? Um, I don't know, like I think it's just kind of in my blood because my dad went to college like to be an actor and then like he came up with like the nonprofit organization Arts in Motion so like ever since I was little like I've always been really outgoing and then I just started acting when I think I was 10 or 11, and I my first production was Alice in Wonderland. That's when I like first started. What was your first role? The Griffin. It's not in the movie, so you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that was my first role. It wasn't a very big role. What would you consider your favorite performance? Um, probably uh, Annelle and Steel Magnolias because I'm named after the movie, so. I don't know, like, it's special to me, and then the opportunity to even be in it was, like, really cool because I, like, went there to try out, and I was, like, there's, like, all these older people, and I'm only, like, 16 years old, so, like, I didn't even, like, think I was gonna even, like, place because my mom wanted to try out with me, so I was just, like, okay, like, I'll go for sport, and then when I got a role, like, I was really surprised, so that was, like, definitely my favorite. And that was, that was a, a fun performance. Yeah. Yeah. And I like working with like close knit casts of only like a few people because I don't know you get to know everyone better. Yeah. Um. What was it like doing um, ordinary people? Because that's obviously a fairly dark show. Yeah, um, ordinary people is definitely a lot different than all the other shows I've done. Well, I don't know. I kind of group it with Steel Magnolias because it was like the tight knit cast thing, and it was a dark show because I'm used to like doing musicals and happy things. But I prefer, like, when I watch a show or when I'm in one to, for it to be more dark. I feel like it challenges people to act a certain way because I'm obviously not living this gloomy life. So when I am, like, asked to be on a show that's like that, I just think that that's more of an opportunity. And how do you get to a darker or gloomier place? Um, I don't really know. I don't really, like, know how I act a certain way. I guess it's just... 
I guess I try to like take on the whole character like and be that character when I'm on stage like I don't have things constantly through my mind like ooh what am I gonna do after this like I'm thinking of like if I was that person how would I be acting so I guess that's just how I get to any place when I'm trying to take on a role and what are you hoping to do after Up with people. And after high school and everything? Um, well, after high school, I leave July 1st for Up With People, and when I get back, I plan on applying to colleges. I don't know where yet, though. I had some in mind, but I'm not sure. Like, I do want to pursue acting as my major, though. And will you continue to participate in community theater? Probably, yeah. Community theater is where I started, so I feel like I'd obviously have to continue. <laughs>